Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I'm IATF qualified auditor doing audit for the automotive sector for the last 19 years. I'm again back with a very, very interesting topic. What exactly is employee satisfaction? And by the time this video will end, you will come to know that what is the meaning of employee satisfaction? Why it is important? What are the key factors which are influencing the employee satisfaction? Why majority of the employees are dissatisfied? What are the key reasons for that? and what can be done to enhance their satisfaction level. Well, in our day-to-day -day life, if you see, we all are doing something for the satisfaction. When we help someone to cross the road, we feel satisfied. When we feed a hungry person, we feel contented from inside. When we help someone who cannot give back something to us, we feel that we have done something and we feel elated about that. Well, there is a very popular quote which says that the way your employees feel is the way your customers will feel. And if your employees don't feel valued, neither will be your customers. So I think this is the crux of this exact thing which I'm going to talk about in this particular video. There is a very interesting theory about motivation and uh, excitement wherein it is said that as long as the employees are given sufficient amount of money and the basic infrastructure they will be just satisfied and it is just an hygiene factor to them but it is not guaranteeing that they will go to the next level so in case we want to go and expect the employees to go to the next level we need to give much more than what we are giving at the moment you must have heard about the movie or the book Jim Collins, Good to Great, where he is talking about two key things, the right people and the right place. So as long as the organization has got the right people and the right place, there is a very high possibility that there will be job satisfaction and employees will be satisfied. So when we talk about employee satisfaction, primarily the intent is that the person who is working at a particular place is enjoying the work and is satisfied. And when the person is satisfied, there is a high possibility that the profitability of organization will go high. In the same way, when the profitability is going down, there is a very good indication that the employees are not satisfied and that can be one of the key reasons for this. Now, moving further, it's very important to understand that what are the key factors which employees the, which impacts the employee satisfaction. So there are two key factors. The first is the tangible factor and the second is intangible factor. When we talk about tangible factor, primarily we are talking about salary. When we talk about intangible factor, we are talking primarily with respect to the work environment, the kind of motivation that is being given, the kind of support that is given by the peers and the management staff. And one thing very important is that all those organizations where there is a focus only on the tangible factor, that is money, there is a very high possibility that people will continue to work, but they will give only that much what is required. And on the other hand, when we talk about intangible factors, and the organization is only focusing on intangible, not on the tangible, the so people will enjoy, people will be very happy and elated, but they will always be looking for an opportunity when they can move and they, they can fulfill their materialistic thinking. So both materialistic as well as the intangible needs, that needs to be taken care of. So that makes very interesting question that what is the reason that why we need to measure the employee satisfaction. So there are certain key reasons that we need to do that. The first and the foremost is when we talk about employee satisfaction, the first thing is to measure that how much is employee satisfied now. Because unless and until we are aware about it, we will not be knowing that whether any problem is coming or not. Then after that, another important thing is to ensure that whether the employee is satisfied with the culture of the organization. That again plays a very, very important role. And thirdly, very important thing is that what are the strategies which the organization is following at this moment where there is a gap and which needs to be plugged so that satisfaction level can be improved. And then the fourth one is about what is the overall holistic picture that the employees are having with respect to our organization so while doing the job satisfaction and understanding that the organization can come to know about it and finally and the most important thing is it helps the organization to retain the employees when they, they can do that now that brings very interesting and very important question that what are the key reasons that why the employees are satisfied dissatisfied 
So there are six key reasons that employees are generally dissatisfied. The first and the foremost is the low compensation. The second is about lack of career growth. The third one is about the poor management, the way in which the entire things are being managed in the organization. The fourth and very important is the poor relationship with the workers and the managers. And then after that, the lack of appreciation and recognition. And finally, the most, most, most important thing is the poor work-life balance. And that creates a lot of challenges. So that means another important question, how we can measure that whether the employees are satisfied or not. So there are four key ways in which the employee satisfaction can be measured. First and the foremost, which is very, very popular, is the employee survey, which is generally being done by using different questionnaire and there are different questions from different topics. And based on that, the organization come to know that what is the employee satisfaction. But there can be some other ways also. The second is one-to-one -one discussion with the employee. So that again gives an idea that what the employee is thinking about the organization and what they think about it. Then third and very popular technique which is generally being used is the suggestion box which is being kept at different places in the organization and that gives an opportunity for the employees that they can go to a particular place and put their feedback and that can also tell what exactly is thinking about it and the fourth and the most important but it's an intangible thing is reading between the lines so when i say reading between the lines the intent is that what all three factors that i just talked about employee survey the employee suggestion box and one to one Apart from that, what kind of feeling that the management is getting about it and that can help the organization to know what can be done. Now that means another important thing, that how we can enhance the employee satisfaction. So there are seven key things if the organization do systematically, there is a very high possibility that employee satisfaction can be ensured and can be maintained much more. The first is talking about that how we are treating our employees, whether we are giving them the due respect or not. Then secondly, reward and recognition is a very, very important role in making sure that employees always remain satisfied. Then empowering the employees when we listen to their queries, when we understand them and when we resolve them on time, that gives a lot of importance to the employees. And after that, another important thing is about offering them the good benefits and the compensation. It plays a very, very important or very tangible factor for retaining any of the employee. And then certainly what the organization is doing with respect to developing the skill of the people, that makes a lot of difference. And the kind of positive work culture and the management style that also gives a lot of confidence to the employees to be without organization. And then finally, the most important again is the work-life balance and the employee satisfaction. Now talking about some of the key industry challenges with respect to employee satisfaction. The first and the foremost is how often when we are doing any kind of employee satisfaction survey or any other way, it actually is a real meaning and purpose and not just the lip service. It's a very, very common challenge in the industry. And the second, even if the organization having a very structured way of doing an employee satisfaction survey or maybe suggestion box and other things, what is happening after that? Is it just collecting the data and then putting it somewhere that yes, we did that or maybe some action is happening on that? And the third and the very important and the popular challenge which is there in industry is that the employee satisfaction, is it linked more with the, the goals of the management or more with keeping your bosses or superiors happy? Well, so in summary, I talked about what exactly is employee satisfaction, why it is important, what are the key reasons why employee feel dissatisfied, what can be done in which we can identify the employee satisfaction source, how we can enhance the employee satisfaction and what are the challenges that industry is facing with respect to employee satisfaction. Well, my next topic will again will be in the same series of training and development and HR and it is about on-job training. Well, regularly I'm getting a lot of feedback from your side and they're helping me to understand your expectation. So please do continue that. And in case you want to understand a little bit more about this particular video, you'll find a link below. If you click that, you'll find a blog there. And there you'll find this information in much more detail. And in case you're liking these kind of videos and blogs, you can always share with your friends and colleagues. And you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel and my website, bhavyamangla.com. Thank you.